Hello, my friends. It's Stephen Walashik from Prime Lending. And today's Tuesday. It's December the 5th, and that means it's time for Tuesday's Two Minute Tip. I've had some cool stuff happen related to these videos just within the last week or so. Last week, I went to a networking event, saw someone I hadn't seen in a while, and she said, gosh, I love those Tuesday tips. There's such good value in there. And I would have never known because I've never seen this person hit like, share, or comment. I thought that was pretty cool. And then yesterday, I got an instant message on Facebook from someone who said, hey, thanks so much for the tips that you provided. I was able to help out my girlfriend. And I have one other quick question. So it's great getting feedback like that, but I need your help as well. If you find that there's content of value, please do hit like, share, and comment. And I know it can be funny sometimes hitting like or commenting on a video about bad credit, but listen, don't worry that people are going to think that you have bad credit. Think about your colleague, your coworker, your friend who might need the assistance. And with that, I'm going to give you my top five tips for managing your own credit, which you shouldn't do. You should rely on a professional. And keep in mind, I am not a licensed professional. This is just from my experience. So number one. Balances on revolving credit cards below 50%. As a matter of fact, there should be zero balance on any revolving debt, except for when you're about to apply for a mortgage. Then a very small balance will maximize your credit score. But nobody should be carrying high debt on high interest revolving credit cards. Number two, be mindful of shutting down said revolving accounts, especially if they've had a long history. We don't want to run up balances on high interest credit cards, but be mindful about shutting them down because you need to have three or four trade lines and a long history shut down can make it look as if you have nothing current. Uh, number three, don't just assume you should be paying collections off. Oftentimes collections don't need to be paid and sometimes when you pay a collection in full, your credit score can go down. You need to talk with a professional. See if you can negotiate for less. See if you might be able to get a deletion on that. Number four, speaking of deletions, if you've ever had a late payment on a card that you've had for a long time, don't be shy about asking for a courtesy deletion. A courtesy deletion can have a huge impact on your credit score. And tip number five, if you're working with creditors, collectors, anything related to credit, absolutely make sure that you're documenting everything. Name, badge number, day of the call, time of the call, how long the call was, all this extremely important. So those are your five Tuesday tips today. I'm Stephen Walashik from Prime Lending. I thank you for tuning in, hitting like, sharing, and commenting. And listen, as always, make it a great day.